I'd like... I'd like to work for Barnabas again. You see, him and me, we were good friends, and, and he did a lot for me. You, do, do, do you think there's a chance I can get out of here, Doctor? Well, I don't know, Willie. We'll have to wait and see. Well, you see, I'm not weak anymore. The doctors, they fixed me up real good, and I'm strong. And honestly, if I got outside, I wouldn't cause anybody any trouble, Doctor. You think you can get me out of here? We're going to do everything we can, Willie. Aren't we, Doctor? I think it's time for you to go back to your room now, Willie. Hey, you mean I'm, go I'm going to have to stay here? Miss Jackson. Barnabas and I have to discuss it, Willie. And then I will make my decision. Barnabas, now you'll, you... You'll tell her you want me back with you, won't you? Yes, Willie, I will. And you won't forget? No, I won't forget. Well, you certainly made that as difficult as possible. It should be obvious to you that he's perfectly ready to leave this place. It is not obvious. Oh, you saw the way he behaved, the way he spoke. He's exactly as he was before he came here. A little more subdued, perhaps, a little reticent, but that's understandable. And you must understand that surely this man is not dangerous. Thank you for your diagnosis, Dr. Collins. Oh, Julia, you needn't be peevish. Peevish? Julia, I've made up my mind. There was something rather pathetic in his appeal to us. I don't think I could live with myself now if he were to stay here. Now, I'm willing to assume full responsibility for him after you've released him. I have not said I would release him. You didn't need to. I can tell that your heart went out to him every much as mine did. days, there, there are certain rules that you must obey faithfully. Rules? You must stay inside the house. You can go outside only if I go with you. But why, Barnabas? Well, certain people will need time to adjust to the fact that you're home. Well, you, you don't think I'd hurt anybody, do you? No, of course not. Now, you should understand that. Just a few more days, as I told you. Sure, okay. Now, I suggest that you go to your room and rest for a while. We can talk later. All right, Barnabas. See, he's as docile as ever. A bit too docile, if you ask me. Do you still believe that you made a mistake, Julia? I'm only concerned that he may have left Wincliffe too soon. He may not be psychologically able to cope with the outside world. Just leave him to me, Julia. Leave him to me.
Maggie, now, Maggie, 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 now, please, don't, don't, don't scream. Huh? I put you away. How did you escape? I didn't escape. Just stay away from me. Now, Maggie, don't, don't be afraid. I'm, I'm not going to hurt you. you. Tried to kill me once. Well, Maggie, I didn't do that. Now, you got to believe me. Just don't come now, near listen, me. When I came here last time, I wasn't going to hurt you. Just get out of here. I'm going to call the police. Police? You, you can't do that. Now, Barnabas would be mad at me. Barnabas? Yeah, he come to Wincliffe today. He brought me back to the old house. He told him I wasn't sick anymore. And I, I knew when I got back home, I had to come and see you right away. I don't want to see you. I just want you out of here. But I got to tell you what happened that night. I know why. Now, Maggie, you shouldn't be acting so scared of me. You know, I, 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 I never would have dreamed of hurting you. Now, you got to believe you that. stay where you are, I tell you. I just wanted to warn you about the danger you were in. No. Yeah, don't you understand you were in danger? Maggie, I always liked you. I never would have hurt you. You know that, huh? Joe! Huh? Joe, come in quick! How'd he get in here? I don't know, and I don't care. I just want you to hold me tight, Joe. Just hold me close. Mr. Haskell, what can I do for you? Where is he? Who? Willie Loomis. I don't know what you're talking about. Did you or didn't you arrange for his release today? Very well, I did. Mr. Collins, have you lost your mind? The man's a maniac and you know it. The doctors at Wincliffe judge him to be normal and I agreed to be responsible for him. Now, you're not doing a very good job of looking after your responsibility. What's happened? Tonight? He almost finished what he started several months ago. What do you mean? He went to the Evans cottage to kill Maggie. You must be mistaken. I saw him there. Came in just in time. There's no telling what he might have done to her if I hadn't gone to him. If he promised that he wouldn't even leave the house. Well, he broke that promise. Now, look, I wish you'd just go and get him, because I want to see him. I think you better let me handle this. Not on your life. Now, do I get to see him, or do I go to the police? It would do you no good to get a hold of the police. His release from the hospital was perfectly legal. Now, unless he's committed some, some crime tonight and you can prove it, the police can do nothing to him. Why are you so anxious to protect him, Mr. Collins? Because he is a sick man. Now, if you want to blame anyone tonight for whatever might have happened, you can blame me. I realize that uh, I wasn't very careful in what I did. Oh, no. No, no, I'm not going to let it drop as simply or as easily as that. Not, not as long as Maggie's life is still in danger. Maggie's life is not in danger. How can you guarantee that? You can't keep tabs on Willie day and night. I can assure you that this incident will not be repeated. All right. Look, Mr. Collins, you go to Willie. And you tell him, if he ever goes near Maggie again, I'll kill him. You make that clear to him, Mr. Collins. I'll kill him. <laughs> 